All right, we're coming off a 6-0 day. My personal bets yesterday on BrockPage.com. So $1,000 bettors were up over $5,400 just from Sunday alone. We also improved to 5-2 and two in our last $7.99 daily best plays on that very same website. And the link for that $1.99 pick is uh, really cheap, and it's located in the description section below. And all the picks that I give out on BrockPage.com, they're my personal bets, games that I personally have action on. And with that, let's go ahead and dive into some free picks here today. Duke takes on Notre Dame, 7 o'clock Eastern start time. Duke's minus 5.5, totals 143. Now, the Blue Devils are currently on a three-game winning streak, and they've had little issues scoring with the basketball this year. Having said that, though, Duke did fail to cover recently against the likes of Clemson, Florida State, and Miami. And for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's the way uh, the backboard looks in a different arena, but regardless, these guys are shooting just 63% from the stripe on the road this year. They're taking on a Notre Dame squad who's on a four-game winning streak themselves. And they haven't lost a game at home yet this year. Notre Dame's also covered the point spread in nearly 70% of their home games as well. Dane Goodwin, he's been automatic from three land. He's actually making 50% of his three-pointers this year. And he's also scoring over 15 points a game. Meanwhile, Nate Leshesky's drilling nearly 48% of his three balls himself. He's averaging just about double-digit points a game. And really no surprise here, guys. The Irish are in the top 25 in the nation in offensive three-point percentage. These guys have been very good shooting the long ball. Now, total-wise, Notre Dame saw unders recently with NC State, Clemson, and Howard University. Meanwhile, Duke, on the other side of things, they went 70% to the under in their last 10 themselves. I'm going to lean toward Notre Dame, plus five and a half in the under 143. Next matchup, it is going to be Iowa versus Penn State, 7 o'clock Eastern start time. Iowa's the five-point favorite on the road here. Total's 138 and a half. Now, the Hawkeyes did lose two out of their last three ball games, and they also failed to cover against the likes of Purdue, Rutgers, and Wisconsin recently. Having said that, though, Iowa still got the W in seven out of their last 10 ball games, and they're actually in the top 10 in the nation in scoring on average per contest. Keegan Murray is averaging over 22 points per game, along with eight rebounds. Meanwhile, his brother, Chris Murray, he's averaging double-digit points a game himself, and he's also drilling over 40% of his three balls. Now, when it comes to shooting from the stripe, I was currently in the top 25 in offensive free throw percentage. They're taking on a Penn State team who lost their last three straight, and they're actually amongst the worst scoring teams in the Big Ten. The Lions are averaging only 65 points a game, and they've also had some difficulties grabbing offensive boards. They also have a losing record overall for the season. And when it comes to head-to-head -head meetings, well, uh, Penn State failed to cover in seven out of their last 10 ball games against Iowa. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the scoring in this one, Penn State saw three out of their last four fall under the line. Meanwhile, Iowa saw unders recently with the likes of Rutgers, um, Southeast Louisiana, uh, yeah, and this very Penn State team. Last time these guys played, uh, that game resulted in an under. So I'm going to lean toward Iowa minus five in the under 138.5. Next matchup, it is going to be Colorado State versus Wyoming, and that's going to be an 8 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Colorado State Rams are minus one on the road with the total at 144.5. Now, the Rams won five out of their last six ball games, and they've actually done a real nice job defensively this year. Having said that, though, they did fail to cover in five out of their last eight ball games. And they're having a tough time grabbing offensive boards on the road. Uh, they're also having a tough time covering the number against Wyoming this year. They're just 3-7 and seven against the spread in their last 10 meetings with the Cowboys. And speaking of Wyoming, they got the W in 7 out of their last 8 themselves. And they're also still undefeated on their home court this season. Now when it comes to offensive production in this one, 
It's Graham Ike, who's dropping just about 20 points a game, along with eight rebounds. Meanwhile, Drake Jeffries, he's been brilliant from three land himself. He's making 48% of his shots from beyond the arc, and he's also averaging over 11 points a game. And in addition to averaging 84 points a game at home this year, well, Wyoming's one of the best home shooting teams in the entire country. Now, not only are these guys making 51% of their field goals at home, they're also drilling 40% of their three balls in front of their home fans as well. Uh, certainly a team that uh, you may want to look out for. They could surprise people, maybe uh, make a run in that uh, in that postseason, in that uh, tourney. But anyway, total-wise, Wyoming did see four out of their last six fall under the posted number. Meanwhile, six out of Colorado State's last seven away from home fell under the posted total themselves. I'm going to lean toward the slight underdog in this one. Give me Wyoming plus one in the under 144.5. Next contest, it is going to be TCU versus Oklahoma. That's going to be a 9 o'clock Eastern start time. The Oklahoma Sooners are minus 6 with the total at 127.5. But despite being favored by 6 at home here, uh, the Sooners have played some pretty bad basketball here lately. They actually lost 5 out of their last 6. And they're having a tough time grabbing offensive boards this year. Now the Sooners were also held to just 58 points in their prior meeting with the Horned Frogs. And speaking of TCU, they're coming fresh off a big win over LSU, where they put up 77 total points. Now, when it comes to covering the point spread in this one, not many have done it as good as the Horned Frogs recently. These guys are 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 ball games, And they're also a perfect 4-0 against the spread as the official road team. Now, when it comes to TCU on the other side of things, you got to think defense. These guys allow only 59 points a game when they travel. And they're also limiting their competition to just 39% shooting from the field. Now, scoring-wise, when it comes to the total in this one, Chuck O'Bannon's drilling 40% of his shots from downtown. He's also averaging double-digit points a game. Meanwhile, Mike Miles, he's scoring over 15.5 points a game himself, along with four boards and four assists. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the number in this one, TCU went 4-2 to the under in their last six ball games. They're also 3-1 to the under as the official road team. Meanwhile, the Sooners saw four out of their last six fall under the posted number themselves. I'm going to lean toward TCU plus six and the under 127.5. And, and with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final breakdown for the video. It is going to be West Virginia taking on Baylor, and that's going to be a 9 o'clock Eastern start time. Baylor is minus 14 with a total at 138.5. Now, Baylor, they did get the W in seven out of their last 10 ball games, and they actually do a, a really nice job scoring with the basketball. They're averaging over 80 points a game at the Farrell Center, and they're also in the top 25 in the country in shooting from the field. LJ Criers, uh, shooting 47% uh, of his, uh, he's making 47% of his three-pointers. Jeez Louise. He's also scoring over 13 and a half points a game. Meanwhile, James Akinjo, he's scoring over a dozen points a game himself, along with a couple of boards and five assists. Now they're taking on a struggling West Virginia team who lost their last five straight, and they also failed to cover in seven out of their last eight. Now the Mountaineers just, simply haven't been good enough on the road. They're scoring only 63 points a game when traveling, and they're also shooting just 37% from the field in that same category. Now, total-wise, West Virginia saw their last five straight uh, all get over the posted number. They also went 8-1 to the over in their last nine. Meanwhile, Baylor went 60% to the over in their last 10 ball games themselves. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Baylor minus 14 and the over, 138 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our quick pick recap. Powered to you by my website at brockpage.com, where we are currently, well, we went 6-0 in our last six premium sports picks on that page yesterday. And with that, I'm going to lean toward Notre Dame plus 5.5 under 143. 
Iowa Hawkeyes minus five under 138 and a hook. I also like Wyoming plus one under 144 and a half. TCU plus six under 127 and a hook. Before I give you my next and final free pick for the video, one final reminder that we are also five and two in our last seven dollar ninety nine daily best plays on BrockPage.com as well. I'm going to lean toward Baylor minus fourteen in the over one thirty eight and a half. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on BrockPage.com. If you guys do end up getting a membership here today on my website, just keep in mind. We, uh, we utilize the Patreon platform. Patreon bills you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a package here today on my website, um, you're only going to get one day of content until they bill you again on February 1st. So if you're on the fence, if you're thinking about it, you may just want to hold off until tomorrow and get a, get a little bit better uh, value for your money. But regardless, if you can't wait and you want to get a package here today, uh, just keep in mind that board members do get access to every single pick that I give out on that website. We have five premium bets going off here today on BrockPage.com. So if you're a board member, you are going to get, uh, you are going to get access to all five of those picks. But uh, most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Monday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.